I was thinking about how I like to talk a lot about themes around stuff I'm working on currently. Um, I had a client yesterday here in New York. One of the things that I that was coming up and comes up for a lot of clients when they're new is indifference to outcome, not indifference to life. This is where people get confused all the time. It's this idea of indifference to outcome. The greater your development of indifference to outcome, your ability to really just let go of the outcome and let it land as it may, the greater your success. And this seems odd because a lot of people are like, I'm gonna make my goal happen. I'm gonna make my goal happen. This is it, this is the time, I'm gonna do it. The problem with that is that when you're so attached to the goal that you're forcing, 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 you start to race, you start to race a lot. When people start to race in their mind, when they start to really push, they can't see and think all the possibilities to help them get the goal or get the result. They actually, they start stressing out their body and the more they stress out their body, the more difficult it becomes to get the goal. We have to learn to relax into a goal. We have to learn to let go. I see a lot of teachers teaching people how to state pump and jump up in the air every day. But they're gonna burn themselves out. Matter of fact, I've seen a lot of these students that come to me that have been doing this for years. Pretty soon they're just burned out. They're like, I can't do it anymore. Or they work really hard for a week, two weeks, a month, then they crash, then they do it again. They work hard for a week, two weeks, month, and then they crash. And they can't seem to get that consistency, that flow. You know, there's a, a saying that I think Jeff Olson, he's a multimillionaire, very successful man, says, is slow down to go fast. You know, the old story of the tortoise and the hare. The tortoise wins. Because if you're pushing, 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 you know, life's gonna be really difficult because you're gonna burn yourself out. So slow down. Use consistency a little bit each day, a little bit each week, a little bit each month, building towards that ultimate goal. Shifting your mind a little bit each day, like exercise. You can't build all the muscles in one week by working out a lot. You have to do it over time. Indifference to outcome helps to create this. And we're gonna come all the way back to that now. Because as you get more indifferent to the outcome, this doesn't mean you, you love the outcome. Okay, I, did, I go hit on that girl and I flirt with her and I joke with her and I like her and then she turns me down, maybe you really wanted to go out with her. Maybe you two would have been great together. But the faster you can let that go, the more your mind opens to the lessons you learn from it and the next girl in front of you. The more your mind sees possibilities. The faster you let her go, a lot of times, she starts to go, well, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe there's something about him because he didn't take it personal. It demonstrates confidence. When you get good at letting go, letting go of the outcome, being indifferent to outcome, the faster results can show up in your life. The easier results can show up in your life because you start to relax inside and you start to see the possibilities. And the more you can say, I'm gonna make this goal happen. Maybe it doesn't happen today. Maybe you just keep working, but it will happen. Because it's the people that know that something's gonna happen and they keep surrendering and letting go of the moment and readjusting, readjusting. Let's say you set your navigation system to go from California to New York, right here. And as you're driving along, yeah, there's accidents, roads that are blocked, traffic. The navigation system just keeps rerouting. It's indifferent. It doesn't need that route to get there. It will change. It will adjust. And then it will adjust again. If you know this deep in your heart, your result will come to fruition. It may not look the way you wanted it to, or it may not be as fast as you wanted to, because it can only come to fruition as fast as you let go of the stories between you and the goal. If you don't have many stories between you and the goal, it can happen really fast. So start developing a different outcome. Start being proactive in your reactions to situations. Start being proactive when a girl turns you down when you ask her out. Look at it really consciously and just kind of say that is what it is. And start practicing letting it go. Moving on to the next one, moving on to the next one. No matter what it is, whether it's your business, your exercise routine, just keep moving forward, developing consistency and indifference to outcome. If you do that consciously a little bit each day, you can write in a journal. I always recommend people journal, put it in a notebook. Within a month's time, you will learn a lot about yourself. We really subscribe to the idea of learning to let go as fast as possible. Refocus on the goal, let go of what just happened. Refocus on the goal, let go of just what happened. That includes letting go of the good things. When something feels really good, you don't want to trap it and stagnate it. You want to let go of that feeling. And it, oddly enough, when you do that, it expands in your body. It expands inside yourself. It feels really good. Practice letting go and indifference to outcome. You will change your life radically. If you uh, like this video, please like it on the Facebook page. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Comment below. And I will see you in the next video. And again, enjoy New York. It's beautiful out here.